Hello. 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 I'm Tuki Harry, the four-headed, long-necked, three-eyed, four-legged, and of course, a kangaroo-like pouch that goes through the entire underbelly all the way to the second pair of legs to stuff lots of things and increase rider capacity. Now that we're standing on two legs with a vertical stand, the views are fantastic enough to want any smaller animal to ride on the pouch or the back. Hold that these two legs keep balance. And we might find one in no time. There are so many boys and berries to pick from to satisfy my shape shifty leggy bird body with a lot to control. Like we always do, pick every single one of them from these bushes with baskets to take so we can make a pie with them that you like. Ooh, I wonder where's the sound coming from in this forest, and what could the creature make these kind of giant steps? To my best of the knowledge, it looks like a sauropod that still exists is coming toward us. They might want to give us a ride or something. Ah <coughs> uh, yes, Tuki Harry, a giant bird that looks exactly the same as my default six-limbed body but always with four heads and necks. That huge stomp makes this a classic ground rumble. <coughs> Ha 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 ha. These necks sure are flexible enough to loom onto the ground toward us. So you think me and the other heads been looming low props and animals for quite when I'm this huge. So kind of small bird with the same leggy body. I'm thinking of offering you a ride. Where on my body do you prefer to sit on? Easy choice. I prefer to ride on your lower torso back. Me and my best friend would love to see what maneuvers you can feel like if you're also part kangaroo. Solid choice. I knew you would like this iconic body part in common. You're more than free to either walk over these necks, or fly around them to hop on board. Oh yeah, big multi-headed sauropod. I can do both flying while moving. Well, looks like your leggy body is snuggled onto my bigger one. I think it feels good to have a smaller four-legged body to get snuggly on it. Well, the train-looking guy down there hugging one of my legs. Stand back so these two other heads want to talk to you. Your legs and feet are as soft as my birdie friends. How can I converse eight you two? Hey Sky Train, is everything alright? I think you seem to have too much joy of these two heads and neck coming towards you. Thanks for asking you too. I am fine. It's just mind blowing to have a giant bizarre dino this close to me. Feels like being back in time in a different canon. Ha 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 ha. It sure does feel timeless, my little friend. Also, I feel so adored for getting my beak petted by you. Thanks so much. Not a problem, two long beaks. Or should I say two can heads with three eyes? I'll tell you what. How about I recommend you to try out this kangaroo pouch to ride while your leggy parrot friend rides my back? Yeah, trust me. You'll be super comfortable in it, even if there's too much room to stump. I don't see why not, but I can try to take a ride to see what a kangaroo pouch feels like when being a joey, even if you can also fly and stomp besides hopping. Then you can walk on these next and aim for my pouch. So my friend Proving Beetle, how snugly or comfy do you think you're in Tookie Harry's pouch? I think it's super comfy desp the depth, just like your leggy feathers. Thank you very much for asking. Alright. Looks like we're ready to take flight if both riders are seated. Do you other heads agree? Of course we do. We'll be stomping on grounds first. Up next, we'll be making a big bounce like a kangaroo and standing vertical. And then of course, soaring around this nature area to make some maneuvers of your choices in midair. Hold on you two. The right experience of your lifetimes are gonna start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1. one. one. Whoa-ho, this bounciness is giving me lots of whalersness coming out of your pouch. An airtime-filled experience that isn't a vehicle. Save your proving beetle. I can feel it too but my talons are killing me safe when grabbing onto his back. And also don't forget this view of legs as they cycle around walking. I'll tell both of you one. Have you collected your current one our biggest kangaroo hop ever remembered? 
You are a Dick Floyd or your time for a highest kick ever from the Dick Clan. We've appreciated your feedback of this giant four-legged body from both of your thoughts and feelings of riding the legging walk. Oh yes, I would love to experience the biggest hop you ever remember made before. I can relate to you silly bird, this could be even more thrilling than just a four-legged walk. Hold on to anything you can. This is going to be one intense kangaroo hop. This body will be raised up vertically about right now. Look, the ground is becoming smaller as we go higher up to the sky. Amazing view. I agree with you 100% proving beetle, especially since in some days I shapeshifted into a fatty sauropod giant with two bellies as you know. Now get ready. Here we go. We're now at the highest peak all the way to the sky. How do you like these heights we made? This is thousands of feet away. It's getting super intense down there but I can handle it. SQWAK. Whoa, looks like the plunge down to the ground is about to begin from this height. Expect a huge stomp from the multi-headed big burb. It's going to be awesome the giant stomp indeed. Hold on. <laughs> Whoa, this stomp is super huge especially with making effect out of it. I know right friend. Say Tuki Harry, have you ever considered taking roller coaster element requests during the flight ride with three each? You all hear the suggestion that the leggy parrot had just said. Sounds like yet another thrilling idea to make these two happy. I think six sounds like a decent number of elements we can appreciate to replicate during a flight. So go ahead and spit out some suggestions you want me to replicate before taking off again. For me, I would like you to do a barrel roll, a vertical loop, and a dive loop. And for me, I can take a cobra roll, an airtime camelback hill, and a helix to end this thrilling flight out. I think these inversions and elements are a splendid idea to stunt. And the fact that the body as well as the two middle heads are already prepped to take flight. Tuki Harry to tower. We're ready for takeoff. We made it to the highest peak possible to perform your suggested elements. So keep your arms down, head back, and hold on. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Welcome back you two riders. How was your ride on this Talkin's biggest stunts? To be honest, the most thrilling experience of my lifetime plus I could hardly learn from your giant size maneuvers the next time I become fat. Of course, I felt a lot more wind with the obstructed view you should try next time. And you know, I think him would do a quick swim in his pouch to see how deep it actually is. Wait a minute. I didn't expect more room to be under your leggy body. Imma swim further. Well congratulations, you have digged the deep end inside Tuki Harry's pouch. Yeah train dude, how do you feel inside my deep pouch? Thanks you two for asking me. Super cozy plus I found four pieces of boysenberries you gathered getting swarmed with all your collection stuff. Beautiful. Oh my long beaks, both of my tummies are rumbling. All of these maneuvering for the two riders causes this body to have twin empty stomachs. Well on the plus side, the trained guy found at least four berries inside my deep pouch. And I can be cool with having one berry for each head for a chance to taste the sweetness, since the food on either neck leads to the same stomachs. It sure did feel like an earthquake cave in there of your hunger. With perfect timing, Imma come out to feed all four of you heads these berries.
Dada, these berries I found deep in your leggy body's stuffed pouch, time to dig in all of you foreheads, Ima toss these in the air with perfect aim. Wow, these berries are delicious as Kai makes them out to be. I couldn't agree more with the statement. All four of my long necks can feel these berries already sliding down to my first stomach, then they'll eventually be in my second stomach. I would like to thank both of you for fighting me for a thrill and proving beetle for the berries we had a hard time to dig inside. Gee, that was nothing to concern, the best bird experience of my life aside from leggy parrot Kai. Why thank you my trusted robot trained friend. But anyways, let's exit Tuki Harry so we can do more fun stuff by ourselves. So Tuki Harry, I would like to thank you for giving us the best experiences you ever provided us making great use of heads and unique body features. Yeah, this is just as good as when Leggy Parrot Kai was a fat sauropod. Let's hope that we can do more multi bird stuff together next time. No, thank two of you for letting me give you the right experiences and pouch digging like no. the other. Well, anyways, goodbye kind proving beetle. I'll see you all when I bump into either of you again on the flip side. As a result, you can rewrite on either of these seats, maybe like a swan when they see both, as well as petting more long beaks than just one. Let's get to flying now, so long.